the graph of f of x is equals to log x base 4 and then there we have it drawn below uh, it has some point uh, some point b of coordinates um let me write that down coordinate k and two right uh, k being the x and two being the y uh, the first question says determine the value of k um k is the x coordinate of b so because we have uh, the function given uh, to us we're going to substitute uh, 2 in place of y and we substitute k in place of x right so our function is given by y equals to log uh, base 4 and then we have our x over there so in place of y we're going to put 2 because that's the y coordinate of b right and then in place of x we're going to put k because that's the k that's the x coordinate of b um so now um the only variable we have is k which is what we are solving for so this is going to give us um 4 to the power of 2 equals to k um, if you don't know uh, how this comes about it's a log rule which says that uh, if you have some log uh, b base a uh, then uh, which is equal to some number n then this is the same as a uh, to the power n equals to b uh, it's what we need here on this um, equation we have here to determine k so 4 to the 2 is 16 right so in this instance k is equals to 16 uh, we just use this uh, log rule that we have here so every time um, the base of the log can carry the number on the other side and it will be equal to this number here in this instance is k um, let's move ahead uh, 6.2 it says determine the values for which uh, f of x is greater or equals to minus 1 and is equals to or less than 2 right so what is f of x f of x is log uh, base 4 x right and it's saying uh, we're supposed to find the x values for which is of which this is uh, greater or equals to minus 1 right um and then the other one is when it's less or equals to two but let's just start with this so basically uh, we have this and the question is just asking us to solve for x um if we do that uh, sticking to the log rule we have the uh this four is gonna carry uh, the minus one right and then this will all be uh greater or equals to x uh, 4 to the minus 1 uh, that is just 1 over 4 right so x is supposed to be uh, less or equals to um, 1 divided by 4 and then the other uh, scenario we have is when uh, this function log base 4 x is less or equals to um, 2 uh, we're just going to do the same thing uh, the 4 is going to carry the 2 and then this will be uh, less or equals to um, x right uh, 4 to the 2 is 16 we want to have x uh, greater than or equals to 1 divided by 4 and then less or equals to 16 so those are the values of x for which uh f of x is less or uh, or equals to 2 and is greater or equals to minus 1. uh the third question uh, 6.3 it says write down the equation of uh the inverse of f uh, in the form y equals to uh so when you have a log function uh like this that we have we have y equals to log of x uh, base 4 right and then the equation says um, find the inverse uh, what you're supposed to do is uh, you're supposed to swap x and y 
and then um, solve for y. Um, if we do that uh, on this question, we're going to get x in place of y, and then this is equals to log uh, base of 4y. Yeah, now we have swapped the two and we solve for y. Uh, we have done this. Uh, now, if you remember the log laws, what's going to happen is that this 4 is going to carry the x, and then this will be equals to y. Now we have solved for y. So this is the inverse of our f of x. 6.4, uh, last but not least, it says uh, for which values of x will x multiply by uh, the inverse of f be um, less than zero. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Yeah, it might look scary, but it's really not. You just have to stick to the basics. So we have x being multiplied by 4 to the power x because 4 to the power x is the inverse of f and then we say in for which values of x is this less than um zero um this can never be uh, less than zero right this part here 4 to the power x can never be uh, less than zero so the question is really uh, on this part here this x that's multiplying um this x which is multiplying is less than zero for every value which is less than zero right so we're gonna be multiplying a positive number by some negative number uh, in order to get a number that is less than zero so for which value of x for every value of x uh, that is less than zero uh, this whole expression uh, will be less than zero right so the answer is basically just x uh less than zero and then that's it for this question